Welcome back. Today we are going to continue working on lesson 15, which is an extension of what we were doing the previous day. A lot of what? What skill have we been working on? What operation? Subtraction. A lot of subtraction. Very good. And now it's not only single digit subtraction. We've worked our way up to a lot of trading with very big numbers and a lot of zeros. So if you want to have your student workbook open to page 75, we're going to work on page the unfinished questions on 75 and 76. On page 75, we're going to start with letter B. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. I can see it. All right. Drop down who came today. I see Sarah came in and I've been talking to Peyton and Nina. Anyone else pop in while I was grabbing that? Nope. Okay. Peyton, go ahead and read letter B for us. 101,660 minus 9,980. Okay. And as always, we want to make sure that our bigger numbers are on top when we're subtracting. And if it's not, what do we have to do? What do we have to do if our bigger number is not on top? Have to do some trading. Okay, so I'll get you guys warmed up and I'll talk you through letter B and then I'm gonna ask for some help with the others. So I have zero minus zero, which is zero. Six minus eight, I cannot do that because eight is larger than six. So I'm going to trade. My six now becomes a five. And I'm going to unbundle and add 10 disks to this place value to make it a 16. 16 minus eight equals eight. Five minus nine, I can't do that. So I'm going to take from my thousands place and that becomes a zero. And I'm going to unbundle and add 10. So now I have 15 in my hundreds place. 15 minus nine. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I count it up to get 6. 0 minus 9 can't be done, but uh-oh, I have a 0 here. So I need to go down to this place value, take 1 away, and unbundle to my neighbor. But I still cannot do 0 minus 9. So now I'm going to trade. The 10 becomes a 9, and my 0 is now a 10. 10 minus 9 equals 1. 9 minus nothing equals 9. 0 minus nothing is nothing also. I count over three places. 1, 2, 3. Insert my comma for a final answer of 91,680. Any questions so far? Okay, Sarah, why don't you help us with letter D? Go ahead and read letter D, please. I think you're muted. Two hundred twenty two hundred forty two thousand five hundred sixty one minus seventy four thousand nine hundred eighty seven. Okay, start me off. One minus seven. I can't hear you now, Sarah. I'm not sure what happened. I heard you good before. There you go. Now I can hear you now. I can hear okay. you typing. So can't do one minus seven. So we borrow from the six next to it and turn the and turn that into a five make the one an eleven 
and then 11 minus 7 equals wait, 5, I think. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. My eraser fell. That's okay. Uh, you know what? I'll just use my other pencil. We so do five ten. minus eight? No. So we borrow from the five next to it and make it a four. Turn, turn the five into 15. And then 15 minus 8 equals, is it 7? Mm -hmm. I have a weird feeling it's 7. <laughs> yep, and if you're not sure, I don't know if you can, can you guys see me when I have my screen shared? Can you see me waving to you? So this is what I like to do, and I do it all the time, especially when I'm in the store. If it's 15 minus 8, I say eight in my head because that's where I'm starting and I count up nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so let's go and try the next one. Can we do four minus nine? From the two and make it a one. Make, make a little bit louder. I can't hear you. We borrow from the two mm -hmm. and make it a one. So 4, 14, and then 14 minus 9 equals 5. Good. 1 minus 4. Can't do it. So we borrow from the 4 next to the 1 and turn that into 3. Turn the 1 into 11, and then 11 minus 4 equals Mm -hmm. Then we have three minus seven. Three minus seven equals four. Well, if I, what's oh, bigger, oh, three no, or seven? No, no. We can't do it. So we got to borrow from the two, make the two a one, and then Turn the three into 13. Then 13 minus seven equals six. Then one minus nothing equals one. And where would my comma go? After the seven. In between the seven and the five. So Sarah, go ahead and read your final answer. 167,574. Great job. Okay, Nina, you're up for letter G. Um, so you can't do 18 minus nine. And so you go to, so you take the five, turn it into a four. And then you make the eight eighteen into an eighteen. Mm -hmm. and eighteen nine equals nine. And so, but you can't do four minus six until so you go to the. Um, so you take the the other six and you turn it into a five. Make the four fourteen. And yep. fourteen minus six equals eight. And um, but you can do yes, you can do five minus five, which equals zero, and um, you, you can't do zero minus two until you go to the other place. You go, you can't do take the zero from the other place. So you take the six, turn to five, take the zero, turn it into ten, but then you have to make the ten into a nine. So you. So you can make the other zero a 10 and um, 10 minus eight, two, 10 minus two equals eight and nine minus nine equals zero and five minus five equals zero. 
And so your answer is 8,089. 8, 8, Very good. You, um, Nina did a great job of remembering to go the whole way over to this place value and unbundle her 10 here. And then she knew that still didn't help her where she needed help, so she had to trade again. And she took one from here, unbundled 10. Nice job. Okay, Peyton, that leaves you, my dear, for letter H. We have a lot of zeros here, sir. Hope you're up for the challenge. Shot. All right, you ready, okay. honey? All right, I'm ready. So you can't do zero minus nine. So you're gonna go all the way to the hundred thousand. Make that a five. Make the next four zeros nines. Okay, you, you are correct. They will end up being nines, but we do wanna practice giving it 10, then taking one away and giving it a nine. And then that okay. one would be 10. Then we have to take that, make it a nine, give a 10. Take one away, give a 10. Take one away, give a 10. But you are correct. That ends up being four nines. Okay, and after that, 10 minus nine equals one. Nine minus six equals three. 9 minus 5 equals 4. 9 minus 2 equals 7. 9 minus 9 equals 0. And then 5 minus 5 equals 0. Final answer? 7,431. Very good. Okay, so hopefully those three problems, actually four, we each did one, got you warmed up because now we're going to turn. First, I'm going to look and if you have any questions, go ahead and unmute yourself and feel free to ask anything, confused about anything, need me to go over anything again. If you don't have any questions, go ahead and flip to page 76. And we're on number four. Reading about Mark today. Mark had $25,081 in his bank account on Thursday. On Friday, he added his paycheck to the bank account, and he then had $26,010 in the account. What was the amount of Mark's paycheck? So we're going to go ahead and underline what's important so we know that Mark had $25,081 on Thursday. On Friday, he added his paycheck and then had $26,010 in his account. We need to figure out the amount of Mark's paycheck. Do you remember what this is called, what I'm drawing to represent this problem? Anyone remember tape what diagram. this is? Very good, this is a tape diagram. What goes at the very top of my curly bracket? This is where my total goes. Your Does answer? anyone know what the total. total? Yep, what the total Mark had in his bank account was? $26,010. Right there, so after he added his paycheck, he had $26,010. What information do we know that can go in this box? You would we could have the $25,081 in, $25, in there. And then the variable. That? What does that mean? That, or what is this? The actual 25,081 is what? An add-in? Right, you are, yes, you do add these, but this is how much he had in his bank account before his paycheck. This empty box, we're going to put a lowercase p, that's going to represent the paycheck. And I think I heard Peyton say that's where the variable goes. Very good. 
Remember a variable is a fancy way of using a question mark. It's our missing or unknown. So we know that this value plus this value is gonna give us this in the bank account total. What's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. So we know that when we have the total and only one of the parts, we need to subtract. So who can tell me what our subtraction problem will be to solve for P? $26,010 We're going to take our total and then take away what's in the bank account. So go ahead and get your problem set up. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. And make sure all your place values are lined up. Your digits are written neatly. And also you have some space between your numbers. Okay, so here we go. Zero minus one, can that be done? Can I take one from nothing? Nope. No. Let me cross off my one and make that a zero. Cross off my zero and that becomes a 10. 10 minus one? Nine. Very good. Zero minus eight. I can't take anything away from Impossible. zero. I need to go over here. My six now becomes a five and my zero becomes a 10. Now what do I do? Because I still cannot subtract zero minus eight. You turn your zero, well, you turn your zero, well, you turn the other 10, ten into a nine. And you turn so I'm gonna eight. trade, very good. Now I have 10 minus eight, which is two. Nine minus zero. And anything minus zero is itself, which is nine. Five minus five. Remember, if we have the same number, it's always zero because you're taking everything you have away. And two minus two. How much money was Mark's paycheck? $929. Good, I'm gonna use a dollar sign. And then I'm gonna write $929 and circle that so I know. Now, you may not think you have a label here because you didn't write anything like paycheck or money or chairs, but this symbol right here is actually labeling it because this tells me it's not just 929, it's $929 in his paycheck. So if I wanted to check my work, what could I do with my tape diagram if I know if I think the paycheck's 929, what could I do to check my work? If you didn't have a calculator handy. Nina? You can add 929 to 25,081. You can All right, let's go ahead and try that. 25081, and I'm gonna add 929 to that. Let's check and see if we did a good job. I start my ones place, one plus nine equals 10. Put down my zero, carry my one. One plus eight equals nine, plus two equals 11. Put down my one, carry my one. One plus zero plus nine equals 10. Put down my zero, carry my one. One plus five equals six. Two plus nothing equals nothing. I have 26,010. Does that match the total of my tape diagram? Yeah, so that's how you know you did a great job. Okay, do you guys have any questions about the subtraction? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm going to stop recording, but I don't want you to log off yet.